Vladimir Putin is talking tough. Мы безусловно используем все имеющиеся в нашем распоряжении средства. Это не блеф. In a speech on September 21st, he gave the world a glimpse of what Russia's next move might be. The Economist's defense editor, Shashank Joshi, and Russia editor, Arkady Ostrovsky, talk through three key takeaways from Putin's speech. Считаю необходимым поддержать предложение Министерства обороны и Генерального штаба о проведении в Российской Федерации частичной мобилизации. This is the most unpopular decision that President Putin has probably taken in many years in power, possibly uh, since the beginning of his presidency. Vladimir Putin is now belatedly mobilizing reservists, in theory 300,000 men with prior military service, but there's no guarantee that it stops at 300,000 men. There's already some indication that the Kremlin may want to recruit many times more than that. Hundreds of people, mostly young, came out in the streets across Russia in some 30 cities. Some of them, as a punishment for those protests, have been served uh, draft papers to take them to the front. There are very few willing to go. Uh, this is a major political crisis in the middle of a war. Parliament of the Republic of Donbass, and also the military and military administration of Kherson and Zaporozhsk Oblasts, приняли решение о проведении референдумов о будущем этих территорий. Language can be very deceptive, particularly in Russia. These are not real referendums. Uh, this is part of Putin's performance uh, to annex some territory uh, in the southeast of Ukraine. There is no legal provision for it. Uh, it's completely illegal. What he is trying to do is to signal to the West that he is prepared to escalate and not prepared to lose. The logic, his logic that is, goes something like this. If these are the territories of the Russian Federation, then Russian nuclear umbrella extends to them. И при угрозе территориальной целостности нашей страны, для защиты России и нашего народа, мы безусловно используем все имеющиеся в нашем распоряжении средства. Это не блеф. Russia has many, many thousands of nuclear weapons, but most of these are strategic weapons designed to destroy cities. What the world has become more concerned about in recent weeks is Russia's arsenal of what we call non-strategic or sometimes tactical nuclear weapons. The worry is that Putin might use one of these smaller nuclear weapons to psychologically shock Ukraine or its Western allies into capitulation or negotiation. It is, of course, impossible to say what's in, inside Putin's head. This is serious weapons and it's a serious threat. The Western powers, the American and the Allies, have made it very clear to Putin that this blackmail will not be tolerated. And in case of his use of nuclear arms of any kind, there will be a very strong response. To read more of our coverage on the war in Ukraine and the events in Russia, please click on the link. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.